Hey kids, Jeff at Autosauce, and today we are going to polish some billed aluminum wheels. We're going to use our minty metal sauce, uh, coupled along with uh, some microfibers and an applicator, and make these billet wheels that are looking pretty rough. We're going to make them look like new again. So why don't you join me? Okay, as you can see, we are sitting here in front of this 22 inch race line wheel, and uh, it's looking pretty rough. So we are gonna fix it up, but I wanna get you uh, up close and personal to see how bad this thing looks right now. As you can see, it's pretty dingy looking. There are some shiny parts left in it, but not a whole lot. So we're gonna take care of that, all that right now. You saw the wheel up close, and uh, now we're gonna get to it. So I've got my minty metal sauce and I've got my blue raspberry applicator pad, which is available on the website. I'm going to put quite a bit on here at first, just to kind of get the pad, uh, what they call, like to call priming the pad. So I put it on like this. I'm now just going to squeeze the pad together and just kind of mix it all around just so it's all nice and in there. Otherwise, if I just laid it on top and started to go, it probably wouldn't last very long. So now that I've got some in there primed up, I'm gonna put just a couple little more dabs on it, give it a squeeze, and we're just gonna wax on and wax off. So start at 12 o'clock and just work myself around here and what you'll notice when you're doing this you probably won't notice it on camera is that my applicator has turned nice and black that means it's doing its job all up in these wheels all across this lip here more on there I always want to kind of get it into the pad otherwise when I stick it on there it's gonna just kind of stick in one spot so we're gonna go around this whole wheel and make sure there is no piece of aluminum left unturned a little bit of this stuff does go a long way as you see I'm not really drenching this applicator pad I'm just kind of spreading it around things getting darker and darker which is good it means it's doing its job What's nice about this applicator pad is it'll fit in between the spokes on this. I know not all billet wheels are the same, but you can get the idea. If I really wanted to get crazy, I could stick my hand behind there and clean the back of the wheel too. But I'm not that crazy yet. Yep, is the keyword. Now the faces of these do have a brushed finish to it, so it will appear not as shiny as the rest, but I'll let you take a close look when this is all done.
now we've got it all applied. It's all on there. We're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll buff it all up. All right. So we let it sit for about 10, maybe 12 minutes or so. You can do 10, 15 minutes. And now it's just going to be the wax off portion. So we've got our allspice microfiber, which is a nice soft one, not too soft, but soft enough. It's not going to scratch it and just to wax off. That's it. Don't apply too much pressure, just enough. And you'll start to see it shine through. I don't know if it's coming out that way on camera in person. These things are starting to look amazing. And as you can see, all more black is coming off onto the rag on the microfiber. And you just want to make sure you get it all off. All right, we've got it all shined up. It looks amazing. Um, you can see how dirty I got this thing. Uh, so now, now that we're done with this one, and it looks awesome, we got uh, three more to do. So I hope you guys uh, like this little tutorial. And if you need some minty metal sauce, just go to our website and pick some up. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.